Hello guys, welcome to my new Genshin Impact video guys. In this video, we are going to talk about the new 5 shard Electro 5 shard character Chlorine. Chlorine is coming in the patch 4.7 and she is the Sword 5 shard Electro character and she's going to be the on-field main DPS. We're gonna talk about the top 5 5 shard weapon for Chlorine in the game that you can use it on her and you can get maximum out of her. So stay tuned till the end video, we're gonna talk about everything in the detail. Alright guys, without wasting any time, I'll just quickly tell you what is Chlorine based on. Chlorine is basically based on similar to what Arlecchino is based on, it's the bond of life. It's the bond of life guys. We also have one artifact related to this thing in the game. Uh, where is that artifact? Here we go. This is this is the bond of life. So she also uh, chlorine also based on the bond of life. The maximum the HP she got a uh, bond of life is she will granted bo uh, bond of life on the basis of her max HP and uh, or the other attacking multipliers are based on the attack percentage. So if we talk about the multipliers and the working is very similar to what we got with the Arlecchino, but Chlorinde is based on the normal attacks and elemental skill damage and the elemental burst damage. Chlorinde elemental burst did a pretty good amount of damage but maximum she wanna deal the damage the normal attack and the elemental skill with the pistol. Okay so starting off with the weapon on the number 5 we have the Festering Desire. Festering Desire is a very old weapon in the game and it's a event exclusive weapon. I included this weapon because probably most of the Genshin player, the old Genshin players already have this weapon and it's kind of a F2P player, free to play uh, weapon and uh, it's an event exclusive weapon so if you don't have this weapon right now in your inventory you're never gonna get this weapon in the future. But this weapon is totally workable with the kit of Chlorine. We got 500 and base attack and 45.9% energy recharge. These both things going to be beneficial for Chlorind. And what interests me is the elemental skill. Increase elemental skill. Uh, what interests me is the refinement ability. Sorry. Increase elemental skill damage by 32% and elemental skill crit rate by 12%. I just told you that she deals maximum damage by doing the normal attach and performing the elemental skill. In the elemental skill, she performs the pistol shots, a, a good amount of pistol shots, and you can uh, increase damage by 32% and you can additionally gain a crit rate to your elemental skill. By the way, Chlorine gets crit rate in her ascension so on number five guys we have the festering desire it's a pretty good weapon not the best weapon or one of the best weapon but it's usable and pretty old weapon and a f2p friendly weapon that's why i included this weapon in the top five list so on number five festering desire okay okay guys on number four guys is one of my favorite weapon in the game is the lion's roar lion's roar it's also a pretty old weapon we used to use this weapon on catching the five star catching the ultimate catching the dps catching this will provide us 510 base attack and 41.3 percent attack percentage here what interests me is again the fire refinement ability it gives you increased damage against opponent affected by pyro or electro as we guys already know chlorine is kind of based on the overlord uh, elemental reaction and overlord elemental reaction is based on the electro and pyro when electro and pyro deals damage together it forms a elemental reaction called overload and if your opponents is either affected by pyro or electro you're gonna get 36 percent extra damage bonus alongside with tons of tons of attack that you're getting 41.3 percent in the base uh, in the substrate and the 500 and the base attack so this one's going to be very very strong on chlorine this is the r5 if you want to know what r1 does r1 only provides you 20 percent bonus here but if you manage to get this weapon to r5 you can get up to 36 percent extra pyro or electro damage 
so this weapon is literally very very strong uh not the strongest or one of the strongest weapon but if you have this weapon and you don't want to spend any of your wishes or money on the weapon for chlorine day uh you can use this weapon you can try this weapon. that's why i put this weapon on number four on number four guys we have the lance road all right guys on number three we have the another f2p friendly weapon it's the craftable weapon and it's the only weapon here that supports hp percentage and have a bond of life the only weapon beside this weapon is gonna have the bond of life effect is the signature weapon of chlorine day that's gonna be the five shot sword beside that this final finale of deep is the only weapon that comes with a bond of life effect yes guys it's a four shot weapon of course comes with the 565 base attack 565 base attack and 27 point 6% attack percentage here. Little lower if you compare with the Lion's Roar, but yes, it's there. But what interests me again is the refinability is so good. When using an elemental skill, attack is increased by 12% for 15 seconds and a bond of life worth 25% of the max HP will be granted. This effect can be triggered once every 10 seconds. When the bond of life is cleared, a maximum of 150 attack will be gained based on 2.4% of the total amount of the bo life bond cleared lasting for 15 seconds. Basically guys, straight up you're, when you're using elemental skill, skill straight up you're getting 12% extra attack for 15 seconds and a bond of life. You're getting a bond of life of 25% of max HP. Your wielder's max HP, your character's max HP. 25% of your character's max HP. When you perform elemental skill on Chlorine Day, you anyways getting a bond of life. But it, with this weapon, you're also getting extra bond of life. That's gonna be beneficial in many ways. And if the bond of life is cleared, you also getting the extra attack for 15 seconds. And you can trigger the first effect every 10 seconds. So that's literally very insane because also her elemental skill also lasts for about 10 to 15 seconds and when the time that his elemental skill will be gone you can again trigger both bond of life or elemental skill one and the sword one again so guys this sword is going to be very good that's why i put this sword on number three you can literally scrap this sword to the r5 and you can get the extra benefit of the r5 refinement 5 rank and guys this is free you can just craft this weapon in the game and this weapon is literally giving you the benefit that no other weapon is giving you besides this weapon is not giving you crit rate crit damage but still this weapon is very very strong and matching the kit of chlorine so if you don't want to spend any money if you don't want to wish you don't want to do anything you can just craft this weapon by gr by grinding a little bit of changing impact and you can get this weapon for absolutely free so on number three guys the finale of deep okay guys though now on the top two weapons are going to be the battle pass weapons yes the battle pass weapons on number two guys we have the black sword you can just literally select by yourself that which weapon is better like there are two uh, swords from the battle pass. One is the fall wolf fang and second is the black sword. I'm putting black sword on the number two. Black sword giving you 510 base attack, 27.6% crit rate. It's giving you massive amount of increased damage to your normal and charge attack. Additionally, you can heal yourself. But whenever you hit a crit, whenever you hit a crit, your characters get healed and you can gain, gain a massive amount of normal and charge attack damage this is the r5 so i can can't tell you what r1 does so on number two guys the black sword and now on number one you can pick this one this one is also also amazing the wolf fang i purchased this weapon for my furina but unfortunately i didn't i don't use this on furina i use primordial jet cutter on furina I enjoy that weapons more because I want more 
uh, higher created on my furina but in the case of chlorine chlorine do also get uh, already getting the created in her ascension so you really don't need to worry about the created hair because 20% 20 around 20% you're getting in her elemental uh, in her ascension and 27% you are getting hair and 5 to 10% can get get from the artifact so you can manage more than 60% created on chlorine and that's going to be fine but what about the refinement in the refinement you also getting extra crit rate it's uh, similar to the festering desire we earlier talked about in the damage dealt by elemental skill and elemental burst is increased by 16% you're getting the elemental skill and elemental burst damage increase also you're getting extra crit rate and crit yes extra crit rate for both your elemental skill and elemental burst so very good weapon good looking weapon and working is also amazing so on number 2 or number 3 guys the black sword or the wolfing you can switch you can either be number 1 the black sword or number 2 the wolfing i am very confused i don't know what to do and one more bonus weapon that i want to mention is the black cliff long sword black cliff long sword is the shop exclusive weapon you need to buy from the shop by uh, spending your stardust and you can get stardust by wishing on the weapon banner or the character banners this weapon is the only weapon in the list in the four star list that provides you the crit damage so if you want a crit damage weapon then only you can use this weapon otherwise this weapon is kind of useless on chlorind but if you want to get a weapon a forger weapon which provides crit damage this is the only weapon in the list or in the game that you can get, give it to her in the forger list as provide crit damage all right guys that's it for the weapon i can revise the list for you on number 5 we have the festering desire on number 4 we have the lion's roar on number 3 we have the finale of the deep on number 2 we have the black sword on number 1 we have the bull bang Okay that's it for the video guys I hope you like the video if you think I said something wrong in this video you can correct me in the comment if you have any question you asked you can ask a question in the comment guys like the video share this video with your friend who is going to wish on the character chlorine and we'll meet in another video guys till then bye bye take care